Hello YouTube, welcome to today's video where we're taking a look at the Anran P3 Max 5 megapixel security camera. This has a 4.5 star rating on Amazon with 169 reviews. It also has free app control, motion tracking and many other features. For those that may be new here, my name's Craig, this is Really Random Reviews and without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Okay, in the box you get a 24 hour warning sticker for your window, a multilingual quick start guide, and then the star of the show, the Anran P3 Max. This is currently priced at $54.99 in the UK at the time of recording. This is also your typical Anran 360 design. We have the two folding Wi-Fi aerials on the top section. In my experience, the position of those don't really matter too much. I call these the turtle shell design because of the shape. It also does help protect it slightly from the elements. On the bottom we have a little rubber grommet and the access panel. Here we have the reset switch and a micro SD card slot. There is no SD card included unfortunately but you can add your own up to 128 gigabytes. On the back we have a speaker and a microphone. This is for your two way talk or your alarms. Then we have the mounting plate. This is slightly different to the last model. It is pretty similar in method. Once the face plate is mounted to the wall, this just sits in and locks into place. You can also add a couple of screws, which I'll show you later, to secure it. It's mostly made from plastic, except for the internal components, and it feels well constructed for the price. This is a wired camera. For power, it does need to be powered at all times, but is wireless in regards to Wi-Fi. The face of the camera has a LED indicator at the bottom, seven LEDs in a circular pattern, these being the floodlights and the sensors. And then we have the five megapixel camera lens in the center. Finally, we have a extension cable, just in case you need some added reach. And then we get a UK power supply. This is why they added the extension, because the cable could be a little longer in my opinion, but it isn't too bad. You shouldn't have too much difficulty with the extension. Then finally, we get a mounting plate and we also get a template to make sure mounting is as easy as can be. The next thing we want to do then is get the application installed so you can scan the QR code from the quick start guide or you can just search for the Anran security app in the Google and Apple stores. When you open this you want to press the blue plus button in the top right corner, add camera, then we're going to select add smart camera. It also talks you through the setup process so it's really simple. If it doesn't manage to connect for any reason you can always hold the reset button for 5 seconds and go through the process again. Then we need to enter our Wi-Fi credentials so this is your router ID and your password and then press next. This will then show us a QR code that we need to then display to the camera. Once the QR code's displayed on screen, go ahead and hold your phone or tablet around 15 to 25 centimeters in front of the camera's lens. You should see the LED indicator turn blue and you'll hear a chime. Your phone or device will then go through a quick setup process and this will also alert you once it's connected or if there's any issues found. In our case, connection is good, so now we need to install the camera into a suitable location. In the quick start guide or on the website, you can find the recommended height and distances. It recommends you hang the camera around 7 to 10 feet from ground level, which is 2 to 3 meters, and also to avoid direct sunlight into the lens. The field of view is around 30 feet, with motion detection being between 30 and 10 feet. All of this information is in the quick start guide and on the website if you need to refer to it. Okay, so let's look at the footage quality now then and some of its features. When you open the application for the first time, you'll be met with this home screen. Depending on how many cameras you've got active at the time will depend on how many you see. You just select the camera that you're trying to view. This will then give you a live view of that camera. A few things to note here guys, that this image has been blown up for the purposes of the video and it also has YouTube compression so the picture quality isn't quite as good as what I'm seeing on my smartphone here. It is in standard definition though and we do have a HD and a 5 megapixel option. I'll get to those in just a moment. Lighting options for the nighttime are simple. We can select the intelligent vision, full color night vision 
or black and white. I use the intelligent vision. This allows the black and white image to switch to color if any motion is detected during the nighttime. This allows you then to see things a little clearer. The motion tracking works well. It's not automatic and you do need to activate this in the app, but it will track an object absolutely fine. Although I do wish it was slightly smoother, it seems a little stuttery in parts. And like I said, this can be turned on or off at any time and it will track just fine all the way to your front door. You also have full control of the camera with the pan, tilt and zoom. You can use the arrow features or you can use your fingers on the screen. Both of these methods work and it seems to work seamlessly. The siren is fairly loud. It can be tested at any time or set to trigger with motion. I'll leave a test of the sound here. Everything is clearly labeled and easy to use. It's very user friendly. And if you wanna use a higher quality image, tap the bottom right corner of the live view, you'll get an SD, a HD, and a five megapixel option. There is definitely an improvement with the five megapixel, but I do still think it's a little pixelated at full zoom. I'll put up a freeze frame now so you guys can see the difference. There is definitely a slight improvement with the 5 megapixel. For some reason it uses less bitrate, which is something to consider if you're using a mobile connection. Even in low light, it's given me a reasonably good image. I'm more than happy with this, especially at this price point. The settings tab is also all clearly labeled and user friendly. At the top, we've got the receive alert slider. You can choose to have this on or off at any time. Then we've got the installation guide, which we've briefly covered. Share device, so you can share the footage or the alerts with a family member or a friend. Location management is the name of the camera and whereabouts you have it. Living room, garden, for example. Light settings, you can choose whether you want to have them automatic or custom. I have them on custom at the moment. And we've got motion tracking, which you can choose to have on or off at any time. Then we've got the privacy policy. I recommend you read this, but I will skip it for the purposes of saving time. Then we've got the alarm management, so you can choose whether to have motion detection very sensitive or reasonable. I leave mine on medium. You can also choose whether to have the strobe warning light and the alarm go off at the same time here. Recording management allows you to choose whether you want it to record all the time or just when motion's detected. You can also add the SD card here and use that for backup. You've also got access to cloud storage upgrades. You do need to pay for this, but the app is fully functional for free, so it is completely up to you whether you want to upgrade for that cloud storage or not. I don't personally use cloud storage. You can even link it up to your Amazon Echo if you have one and do your updates or delete and reset device from here. You can also select any of the cameras that you have operational from your home screen. So if you have two, like in my case, I can switch between them. You can also press history or go to your messages and you'll have all your alerts and notifications there with all of its previous recordings. These can also be backed up with SD and cloud storage. Overall, I'm very, very pleased with this camera, especially for the price. I don't think you can fault it really. The app is seamless and user friendly. The build quality is more than reasonable at this price point. It's a 360 degree camera with two way talk and motion detection and night vision. You can't really ask for more. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful or informative at all, please consider liking and subscribing. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers. Thanks to each and every one of you for being here and watching the video. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Until next time then, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.